Hello, my beautiful people. I hope you're doing well. My name is Paulina. If you're new here, welcome. And please consider subscribing if you like that type of content. And if you're already my subscriber, hello, my dear. Welcome back. Okay, guys, so before we start with this super exciting, amazing, absolutely exquisite video, please let me address two short things. And I would really, really appreciate if you don't skip through that. Uh, because these are important matters, one uh, being very important globally and one being a port important personally and for this channel, okay? So let me just jump right in. The first thing I want to address is that I was quite hesitant to post videos um, considering what's happening at the moment in the world, especially in the USA. Uh, and guys, I'm not the one who really speaks loudly about my opinions um, because I'm a little bit more calm with that, especially that my partner is in a uh, diplomatic field, so there's usually not much that I am allowed to say, if it makes sense. However, in this particular case, I feel like um, all we can do is speak about it and encourage other people to share the knowledge, uh, spread the word and you know just just be proactive you know uh, especially for those of us who do not live in the United States um, all we can do is speak up via social media and do our own work um, so guys um, of course what is happening is absolutely terrible uh, I really have no words to describe how I'm feeling about it, but I feel like most of us feel a lot of anger, um, a lot of fear as well. Um, there's so much injustice at the moment that is just terrible that we are going through the same thing over and over again um, for centuries actually. Um, so that's that and uh, what I would really encourage you to do is to go to my description box where I post, posted all the important links for you where you can get some knowledge, sign the petitions and donate. So I really really hope you do so and that would mean a lot to me and I'm sure to everyone. So thank you so much in advance. So that's out of the way. Now the second thing, and I really hope you don't feel like I am being insensitive, uh, speak, speaking about my uh, private matter, so to speak. Uh, but I really, really want to address this because I've gotten a lot of private messages from you guys and a lot of comments, what's happening, etc, etc. So uh, I'm sure not all of you know, but I posted a video a few days ago and I took it down for a very good reason. And I've gotten some questions about it. So let me just address that because I must admit the situation has been very, very hurtful for me and very much discouraging uh, when it comes to doing YouTube in general, I'll be honest. Uh, so, if, as you guys know, uh, you know, I've become a YouTuber a few months ago and I really started collaborating with people. People started sending me stuff, the companies, um, just so I get some, you know, opinion out. And uh, same thing happened with uh, the brand called Federico Mahora, uh, which by the way, I will feature their products uh, in this video, but I will um, get to that. Uh, so first of all, what you have to know is that I am not a part of the company and uh, their uh, management and um, you know the whole concept of, of the brand is not of my concern. And it's very hurtful that it got to the point that nobody really cared. I mean, some of you did, but some didn't even care about the products itself, but you know, I've been attacked and my um, goodwill was also attacked um, by some people. 
and you know I got some hurtful comments that I am promoting something that I should not be promoting and the truth is that all I was talking about are the fragrances as I said I was not sponsored by the brand nobody even paid me to you know say anything about the brand I was just about to review their products which I ended up loving very very much and I highly highly recommend them because you know they're good products and I really enjoyed using them and that's it and um, nevertheless uh, you know this was uh, not a very pleasant experience so I decided that for my own mental health and um, avoiding some other hurtful statements from people I will just put the video down and uh, address those things which were completely untrue and just you know I feel like they were also written by someone who had no idea what she or he was talking about uh, because if you don't know already I am a lawyer and I spent years in corporate environment and I've been dealing with companies for years I've been setting them up I've been doing their compliance obligations so I really do know how to eat that you know what I mean and I would never recommend something or push you to um, register or buy from someone who was not having a good legal base if you know what I mean and um, yeah, this, this is also the case. Uh, I have only good experience with the company and I really don't like uh, the point that we are at because I'm not only defending myself but also the company, which is basically not something I even should be doing. Um, so guys, my idea is that if I really like their product, I will share it with you because I like it and that's the only reason. And uh, this is really not my intention to, you know, make you register to something. So, if you want to purchase the things that I will be talking about from the brand, you just contact the brand directly. I will link their Instagram page down below where you can contact the team and they will arrange the shipment, the order for you perfectly. And I'm sure they will take amazing care of you. So... I think that's the best uh, what I can do uh, but I am not gonna be uh, you know just untrue to myself and I'm not gonna be avoiding talking about those products which I bought with my own money okay uh, just because someone has different opinion than I do and trust me uh, this is not very truthful opinion because I know how it works uh, and yeah so if I feel like I like something, I will just show you and I hope you like it too. And I know that many of you actually bought from the brand already and you're super happy with it. So yeah, I hope it makes sense. I hope it clarifies things. But uh, just so you know, uh, some things are really, really hurtful, especially if they're not true. Um, so I just wanted to address that and let's move on to the video finally, shall we? Okay. So the first thing I want to say is the overall Baccarat Rouge experience. So the first question that I asked myself after I purchased so many of the so-called dupes of Baccarat Rouge was, will I ever purchase the original? And the answer is probably yes, regardless of all the dupes that I have. Just because Baccarat Rouge, the original MFK one, gives you the whole experience of having it, of spraying it. Um, it's just, you know, it's just a really statement luxury piece to have. And I like that. I love the scent. Uh, the longevity is amazing. I've been testing it out for around a month now. I have, uh, I was kindly sent a uh, 10 milliliter decant of it. So let me just spray it once again quickly so I can have a fresh whiff of it. So the notes here, if you don't already know, which I'm sure you do because uh, I'm sure you're interested in Baccarat Rouge when you're watching this video, right? <laughs> However, the main notes here are cedar, ambergris, uh, amber, saffron and jasmine in the beginning. 
and to me this is a very sweet fragrance yet is very fresh and it has those moments where it leans like medicinal and I feel like it's because of the woody notes that are in there. Um, there is a particular wood that's in there that I don't remember the name of because my um, first language is not English so I'm sorry but basically it's like a pine tree kind of wood. <laughs> Guys I'm just I'm just a type, hey? <laughs> okay. So basically this is this gives you the feeling of like a, a little bit of a burnt caramel. It's sweet, it's dense, but yet it's quite fresh because of those woody notes and the saffron. Very, very original scent. Very original, uh, except from the fact that many people already wear it, so you might not be as original wearing it, you know? But it, the scent, the composition of it is very, very original, and I feel like many companies will um, copy it from now on. I'm sure, I'm sure they will, because I already have some dupes, right? So yeah. This is like a new style of perfume that was introduced by um, the one and only Francis Claude de Jean. So I feel like this is a masterpiece. The longevity on my skin is around 10 hours and on my clothes it lasts for days. Uh, I only checked on like the outwear, you know, that I sprayed on because the clothes I just, they just go to the wash after I wear them. But on the outerwear it really did last for days and days and days. So perfect longevity, extreme projection, really everyone in the room will smell you. Uh, you might not smell yourself too much because this is the type of the scent that everyone around you will smell but not you, if you know what I mean. Uh, I get those whiffs of it but I don't smell it too much during the day. Very, very interesting, sweet, lovely, it's definitely unisex, however, to me, it leans a little bit more feminine, however, I feel like any guy can pull it off. So that's my thoughts about the original. Let's move on to my ranking. So there is no Barbary hair, there's no resembling fragrances of Baccarat Rouge, except of one which I'm gonna get to. Um, my dupes actually have 100% the same notes, with small exceptions, small twists, but generally they have the same notes, and this, in my opinion, can actually be called a dupe. Because a perfume that has completely different notes, I'm sorry, but this is, how come is this a dupe? You know what I mean? Even if it resembles the fragrance in some way, to me, a dupe is something that has the same base. So let's start on number four, and this is the only fragrance that differs when it comes to the notes um, quite a lot, however it still gives you the same vibe. Uh, it's very similar, I'm sure that someone who doesn't know Baccarat Rouge and would sniff both of them would not really smell the difference, you know, someone who's not into perfumes, who doesn't know the notes, I'm sure they would not really distinguish one from the other. And this is Cloud Bar by Ariana Grande. And um, I'm really surprised because I'm really not much into um, celebrity fragrances. I'll make a video on that and I give you my honest opinion. However, I'm really pleasantly surprised about Ariana Grande. Uh, dupe or not, this is a great fragrance, I feel like. Um, it really, really goes its own way, it has its own vibe and I really think it's collection worthy. So, first of all, the difference is the notes. There's lavender here, there's whipped cream, um, there's some like uh, coconutty notes. Very, very interesting fragrance. It's way sweeter, it doesn't have that herbally note to it, which actually makes Baccarat Rouge what it is. It's way sweeter, it's more linear. Um, it does smell very, very good. The lasting power on my skin is around seven hours and on clothes it still lasts for days. So that's good, especially for a celebrity fragrance. And you mainly get that creamy, like a uh, cotton candy creamy uh, whipped cream note with some coconut. Very, very sweet and smooth. So yeah, I really like it, but it's definitely not a juke juke. I would say it's like 70% of resemblance to Baccarat Rouge. And I must say, I really, really like mixing them both. 
I know that um, Baccarat Rouge is a masterpiece on its own, but I really, really love mixing them. So that's on my number four spot. Okay, guys, and now we can actually move on to real, real juice. So uh, this will be from 85 to 99% resemblance of the original. So have a drink and let's go. First one that I want to show you is actually uh, recommended to me many times by you guys uh, in the comments. So I finally um, discovered it, I bought it and I'm super happy with it. And this is Swiss Arabian Garam. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. It's G-H-A-R-A-A-M. So I'm guessing that in Arabic is Garam. Garam, <laughs> whatever. First of all, the packaging. The presentation is absolutely beautiful. And like Ariana Grande, this is a really, really gorgeous statement piece on your vanity. Uh, the cap is metal, so it's super, super heavy. Not too travel friendly, but you know, you get good quality packaging. Uh, so the notes here are exactly the same. The only thing that it's not here that we have in Baccarat Rouge is amber gray. So that's that. You get jasmine, you get saffron, you get those woody notes in the base and you have amber uh, in the heart note. So okay, so you definitely get the Baccarat Rouge vibe. However, this is way sharper. I feel like um, they really, really put the emphasis on the woody notes. So it's way, way sharper. You really get that burnt kind of smell. It's still a good scent, but it's very, very sharp. So if you like those strong woody notes, I think you might like it. And throughout those strong woody notes, uh, there is that ambery uh, hue to it that you know gives you the resemblance of the actual Baccarat Rouge. However, I would say this is 85% of resemblance, 80, 85. What I must say about this, this is even more long lasting than Baccarat Rouge. A very, very strong fragrance. Um, and yeah, that's, I think that's all. Longevity, as I said, is better than Baccarat Rouge much, much stronger, is definitely not as smooth as Baccarat Rouge. So this is the strongest scent out of them all that I'm going to show you. Nevertheless, the notes are almost identical, so I highly recommend checking it out. However, I feel like um, you really need to try it before purchasing, you know? This is not like a straight up blind buy. Of course, I did blind buy it because it's not available uh, in the shops in here uh, where I live currently. However, uh, I'm still satisfied, but it is very, very strong. So that's Garam. It's strong on those woody notes, you know? Next one. Uh, this particular case is amazing and the notes are identical. The only thing added here is Oud. So for all my oriental lovers, you're just gonna be like, goodbye Baccarat Rouge, I love Al Haramein Amber Oud of Rouge. <laughs> Perfection, guys. So this one is, I would say, this one is, I would say, 90% similarity. 90% similarity to Baccarat Rouge. And they come in 60 ml bottle, I think. And the Garam comes in a 50 ml bottle. And I don't think they uh, have bigger bottles of these. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I didn't find any. And I, if I did, I would purchase, you know what I mean? I always like big bottles. So, Aharamein Rouge. So this is the third, if not the fourth, I think it's the fourth of the Amber Oud range. And this is basically the uh, their dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. And as I said, the notes are identical to Baccarat Rouge. The only difference is that they put Oud in the dry down. So basically, this is Baccarat Rouge with an oriental hue. 
that's all I can say. It really, really performs super, super similar, very long lasting. I would say it's 10 hours on the skin, same as Baccarat, and on the clothes again, last four days. And I feel like, except from Ariana Grande, this is the case for all the fragrances that I'm showing you today. Yeah, so uh, it plays on your skin the same way as Baccarat Rouge. Sometimes you feel more of this medicinal note, sometimes you feel more of this sweet ambery note, that, you know, benzo and sugary one. Yeah, right now it's more medicinal, uh, but I know as it dries down, it gets to that very, very smooth, sugary benzo and amber note. So, super interesting fragrance. I love it. This is one of my favorites at the moment. I feel like this is definitely like a 90 92% of similarity to Baccarat Rouge. Uh, longevity is out of this world, so I highly, highly recommend it. I must say I recommend this one definitely more than Graham by Swiss Arabian. This one is more of a safe blind buy. So that's that. And the last, but definitely not least, and guys, this is 99% similarity to Baccarat Rouge. The longevity on the skin is around eight hours, eight, nine hours. On skin, uh, it lasts very well, so yeah. And on the clothes, again, like all of these, it lasts for days. I absolutely love it. To me, this is the smoothest, most gorgeous blend of Baccarat Rouge dupes that I can show you. And this is just the best one that I found. To me, this is like 99,9% .9 of similarity. And it is a fraction of a price. And this is Federico Mahora uh, Pure Royal 910. So 910. And this comes in a 50ml bottle, which is a shame because I would love 100ml. I already have like free backups. Like... It's insane how much I love it. And to me, it's exactly, exactly the same like Baccarat Rouge. There is nothing harsh here. There's no added note to it. Unlike Amber Oud, which is great as well, but this one is just identical. Uh, the notes are exactly, exactly the same. And, and then they play it in the, Jesus, I cannot speak, guys. Am I that excited? I don't know. The notes are exactly the same as in Baccarat Rouge. The performance is the same. It's just amazing. You get that specific, specific, exactly the same oceany herbal vibe. And then it blends into that ambery, sweet, sugary note. So it's perfect. It really, really is just amazing. The only downside of this one that, um, for example, this one does not have and Garam also does not have that. You get straight up into perfume oils. Um, this one is a little bit alcoholic in the beginning, like for the first minute or two. But guys, it's a minute or two, literally. So I would be totally okay with that considering the price. I really don't mind. I just wait it out a little bit and then it plays beautifully on the skin. So I highly, highly recommend it. It's gorgeous. If there's only one thing you would purchase from this brand, I would go for this one. 910 Pure Royal by Federico Mahora. That's it, guys. That's it. Thank you so, so much for joining me here today. And I know there are so many other Baccarat Rouge dupes on the market. Uh, yesterday I already got a text from someone that uh, Razazi has its own line that resembles Baccarat Rouge. But guys, like if I were to buy every single dupe, I would never get the original because I, it's crazy, you know? <laughs> I can't have like 100 dupes, but I feel like from, from these, that I tested out from these that I found very, very interesting before purchasing, I feel like these are the best, hands down, the best dupes that you can get from Baccarat Rouge. So let's have a little roundup. On number four spot, Ariana Grande Cloud, 
definitely not 100% dupe. Uh, this is around 70% dupe. It will give you the same vibe. If you're up for the vibe only, this is a perfect purchase. It's sweeter, it's creamier. Uh, it's more like a candy scent, you know, a little bit more, I don't want to say immature, but yeah. Ariana Grande Cloud, good longevity. Now, Garam, same notes, but very, very sharp. Uh, if uh, Cour de Jean, uh, 540 leans a little bit more feminine, this one definitely leans more masculine. So maybe if you like Baccarat Rouge, but you want something a little bit more masculine for your men, I would go for that. It's beautiful. Okay, uh, now Amber Oud Rouge by Al Haramein. Gorgeous, gorgeous dupe. This is amazing. Uh, the only difference between this one and or the original is that uh, they put some oud in here and you def definitely get this oud hue from time to time. Uh, not too much in the dry down, more into the heart of the fragrance. In the dry down it's very sweet and smooth. So that's Amber Oud Rouge. And on number one spot, Pure Royal 910 by Federico Mahora. This is amazing. I really, really love it. As you can see, I'm almost out. And this is 99,9 percentage of being a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. And the only downside, alcoholic hue in the first spray. So that's it. I gave you all the pros and cons, longevity, performance. I hope you are satisfied. And if you have any other Baccarat Rouge dupes, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know and maybe purchase another one. Okay, just one, just one more, okay? That's it, one more tube. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and hit the notification bell. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And see you in the next one, bye.